So what Sean did here is he pre-visualized the progression of effects that are going to occur uh, on, in the ships. And what we are doing is we're making these effects systemic, which means we're going to motivate these effects through the, pro through the components on the ship. So literally, what we see in the, the video is we have electrical feedback, we have small explosions, and then we have a kind of a, a weight, and then a kaboom, right? So, <laughs> so what, what we've done is we've broken that, broken that apart. And what we've been trying to do is very systemic. We're trying to motivate all the special effects through, um, through damage, um, through the ship's systems not just play an effect over the ship, but just really motivated through ship systems. So one thing we're introducing very soon after CitizenCon, image, it may explode, or it may just give electrical feedback, which can then cause damage elsewhere in the ship. So you'll see uh, arcing lightning going from component to component over the hull of the ship, and then you'll see explosions happening, and then finally, we'll get the, uh, if enough components have died, we'll, we'll have the ultimate explosion. So that's kind of where we're headed with that. That's very cool. We've just been playing the explosion on loop the, during this so, entire time. Well, Nobody wants to see us. Believe. We're just showing them the explosion. No one wants to see now. this. No one wants to see. So, and that was the work from Sean Ellis. Yeah. And that's 100% in CryEngine. Yeah, and Mike Snowden too. Mike Snowden is also a PFX lead supervisor. Mm -hmm. So he definitely is responsible for uh, laying some foundation there. I don't want to leave him out. Uh, Allie Brown. The, the